Hello, this is Nana from My Back Porch. Thank you for joining me today. You are all artists. Hello there, artist friends. This is Nana. It's a little bit cold outside here today, and I am not on my porch. I am speaking to you from my kitchen, and there are all sorts of wonderful inventions here in my kitchen. There is a humidifier, there is a blender, there is a coffee pot, there are just all sorts of inventions. And I'm going to tell you about someone who had a fantastic mind and a driving curiosity about inventing and learning. His name was Leonardo da Vinci. He was an artist, a scientist, and, as I say, an inventor during the Italian Renaissance. He is best known for his paintings, his famous Mona Lisa and The Last Supper. He kept marvelous notebooks of his inventions, the early version of a helicopter, an airplane, sketches of the human body, astronomy, map making. He was known as an early genius of that era. Da Vinci was born on April 14th or 15th, we're not sure, in Florence, Italy. He was educated by the famous Italian artist Verrucchio in his studio. That rhymes, but no, I didn't mean for it to rhyme. He had no formal academic training. He didn't even go to school at all. But many historians and scholars point to Leonardo as a universal genius and an individual of unquenchable curiosity and a feverishly inventive imagination. Can you imagine? All he did was think of things he could make and study and do. One historian noted that the scope of Leonardo's mind seemed to be superhuman, while the man himself was and still is mysterious to us. Yes, he is considered one of the greatest painters of all time. His painting, The Mona Lisa, the most famous portrait, The Last Supper, is the most reproduced religious painting of all time. In 2017, one of his paintings sold at auction for $450.3 million, setting a record for the most expensive painting sold at a public auction. The painting is Salvador Monday. Now I want you to look this up. Salvador Monday is the name of the painting. And it is translated as Savior of the World. It is a painting of Jesus dressed in Renaissance style, making the sign of the cross. Preparatory pastel chalk and ink drawings 
are held in the British Royal Collection. So he did sketch in pastels, and he did do great studies on uh, the human body and cheekbones and eyes and ears. So by the time he was ready to paint the Mona Lisa, even though it took him 12 years to paint her, he didn't stay with it all the time. He kept studying about her. Da Vinci never stopped learning or experimenting. He made drawings of an armored fighting vehicle, or what we call a tank. He studied solar power, made an early adding machine, and is credited with the invention of the parachute, discoveries in anatomy, geology, optics. He kept busy with his notebooks of discoveries. We recognize and admire Leonardo as a scientist and an inventor. But for over 400 years, his fame has rested on his great skill as a painter. By the 1490s, he was described as a divine painter. Just his innovation, the new ways to lay on the paint, his detailed knowledge of anatomy, light in the room and botany in the background, and geology, his interest in the way human beings have emotions, and his use of color and tone. All these came together in his masterpieces. Leonardo's fame within his own lifetime was such that it was said, the king of France carried him away like a trophy to his castle and was claimed to have supported him in his old age and held Leonardo in his arms as he died. Crowds still stand in long lines to see his best-known artworks. T-shirts still bear his most famous drawings, and historians continue to hail him as a genius, as do I. Thank you for joining me today. I hope I have sort of made you become curious like Leonardo and perhaps you'll do a little bit of study on him and look at some of his fabulous artworks and the things he invented and how he just has been magnificent for centuries. And always, always remember, like Leonardo is, you are also an artist. Love, Nana. Thank you for listening, artist friends. Please leave a review and share this with a friend. We invite you to join us in the You Are an Artist Clubhouse at chalkpastel.com, where we have over 500, yes, 500, video art lessons. We would also love for you to join us on Instagram, Facebook, and more. And be sure to tag us when you share photos of your artwork. We cannot wait to see. I'll be talking to you again soon.